Hey everybody, welcome to uh, episode 8 of Making Money with Job Boards. I want to talk to you about pricing today and uh, determining what prices you should, you should charge for your job postings. Um, so this can be a tricky thing, uh, especially in an economy uh, like today's economy. Um, a niche board uh, I think should always try and charge less than the big guys of course um, there's just no way you can uh, convince anyone to pay uh, the same thing as they would a monster for a new board uh, that's niche uh, you just can't do that um, so you're always gonna have to charge less than the big guys and I think a considerably amount less in order to attract the employers um, I'd say the vast majority of niche and local boards I've seen out there charge anywhere from 50 bucks to 150 uh, for single job postings. Um, so that's sort of probably the range I'd recommend. Um, there are um, there's a couple uh, other sites out there like Jobs in the U.S. who has a network of local job boards that actually charge I think around 2.99. Uh, but they give you unlimited postings with that and I think it's a, a, a quarterly or monthly charge if I forget what it is so there's some different pricing schemes you can look at um, but those are the you know the 50 to 150 dollar range is basically what I've seen out there um, I and my local boards charge uh, 119 dollars for a 60-day ad uh, it started out as 99 dollars and I increased it uh, over the years, um, particularly as the uh, the job market took off. Um, lately, though, the last I'd say two years, there's definitely been some downward pressure um, among job boards and the prices they have to offer and that they charge. Um, I think a lot has been driven by Craigslist, uh, which gives you free postings in many cities. Uh, I think it's a factor of the economy given that the job market is so bad right now. So there's definitely been some downward pressure on pricing, uh, which is starting to make me wonder about um, the whole free uh, model out there. I just uh, finished listening to uh, uh, Chris Anderson's new book called Free, which you can actually get as a podcast on iTunes. And um, he's basically saying that everything is going to free um, and uh, that you should probably use the freemium model which is basically free job postings and then upsell um, your clients into other products. Um, this is basically what Simply Hired and Indeed are doing. Um, they give away free job postings in the form of indexing your RSS feed, whether you're an employer or a job board, and then they sell you uh, uh, on sponsor listings and pay-per-click. Um, so that's also another model, I think, that could be coming on the scene in the next few years. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if a product like Jobomatic started to include that as part of its feature set for anybody who signs up with it. Um, so, you know, definitely keep those things in mind um, when pricing your board. Um, you know, the whole freemium thing could be a way to differentiate yourself uh, in the market. But if you have an audience already, um, if you uh, have traffic, uh, there's definitely room for you to charge uh, as long as you deliver value uh, to the employer and you offer a you know a certain value proposition for whatever niche uh, you're in uh, then you can definitely charge anywhere from 50 to 150 dollars uh, for a job posting so those are kind of my thoughts um, got any questions as always chris at all county jobs .com. see you next time